We're here with Lee Fowler after the uh, one-all draw away to Baltimore St. Michael's. Um, how did you see that game and do you think it's two points lost or a point gained? Um, probably 50-50 really. I know we, we dropped the two points but you know, the number of chances we created was, was phenomenal. Um, you know, we missed quite a few chances. I think I asked the lads after the game how many chances did they have. I think it was only Tom Marshall who never had a chance. I think you're looking about 15, 16 chances and then talking clear-cut chances. Um, but it just in the games, I'd be worried if we didn't create chances. My first couple of games, it didn't look like scoring. Now we look like scoring from quite a few different areas. Yeah, we, you'd say you know, we've had a lot of chances today, but um, looking at the stats for the game, there was three on target today, and obviously one was Dion's goal. Is that a little bit troubling that we didn't tend to test the keeper more? No, no, I'm not worried. Uh, listen, the, the thing for me is when you start to worry is when you're not creating anything. Um, you know, the, it will fall in another game, you score five, six or seven. Um, but for me, I'm worried if the Coffee United game, I'm thinking we didn't look like creating anything, we didn't look like scoring. You know, I put Tom Marshall in and changed it after sort of 30 minutes. I went into a 4 3 3, and I thought it changed the dynamics of the game. Listen, they, they were a good team. They got two quick wingers, which I knew everything about. The number four in midfield was very good. Um, big physical two centre halves, um, and they're a good team. But, you know, on another day, I think we go and score six or seven. Yeah, at half time, you, uh, you made a couple of changes. You took Carl Dixon and Jamie Walker off, bringing on Fabian Smith, and uh, obviously a Rico five. What were the thoughts behind the the changes at half time? I just thought a little bit. Jermaine was fantastic, by the way. Today, I thought he was man of the match by a country mile. Um, I thought he was a little bit isolated at times. I think the game got away from Dicko a little bit too much, you know. And he's been in great form. He has been in good form. But I made the decision. I brought Fabian on. He gives us that little bit of composure. Put Tom Marshall into a three. Matched up their three. And I thought in the end we sort of dominated back back on the pitch. Yeah, towards the end of the game when it was still 1-0, there was some last-minute defending for us, weren't they? they? They started to push and create a little bit, didn't they? Sort of, they did test us in those last few minutes before we scored. Yeah, they're good teams. You know, they, they, they didn't sit back. I think the two wingers they've got are very quick and dynamic. You know, the lads in midfield caused us a few issues with how tricky he was, and he was a good centre midfielder. You know, they had a long throw, which was which is key in these sort of leagues as well. If you need to go Plan B, um, the corners. Yeah, they, they had a few corners. And um, I said to the lads, the only way we're going to concede goals is from set plays or switching off from a counter attack. And that's the only time they looked dangerous today. Uh, they scored from a set play. Uh, and they, they looked dangerous when we lost possession. And they get their quick players into the game. And then we, we've got sort of run on the back foot and coming back through. But listen, no doubt about it, we, we were the better team today. Um, I know we didn't create, sorry, I know we didn't score the chances we created. But listen, I'm, I'm very happy with the performance and the character which they showed, which could be a, a pivotal point in the end. You know, I've won leagues and I say to them, if you don't lose, you pick up points. Said at half-time, we have to come away with a point. If we can't get three points, we come away with a minimum of a point. Yeah, it's a point can make, couldn't make all the difference at the end of the season, obviously. Uh, and now we go into a break. We have no home game next weekend. We've got a free week. Our next game is Worcester City um, at the New Manor Ground, which we need to sort of put right the, the defeat we had at their place earlier on in the season. Um, now we're looking at Sporting Calsa and Shepshire Dynamo with the teams who could get close to us with their games in hand. Calsa have, uh, have won one nil today. Shepshire Dynamo have drawn, but I believe that they they one of their games in hand. They play each other on Tuesday, so it's not the end of the world today. Is it only getting one point and letting Calsa get back a little bit? No, of course you're not. Listen, there's a long way to the end of the season. We're going to lose again. There's no doubt about it. We're going to draw games again. Uh, I think every other team are going to do it. I think they both have to play each other twice. It's not just Tuesday night they play each other. Uh, we'll be in Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll be doing something on the Saturday at the grounds. I'm 11 v 11. Uh, then we'll have a Tuesday, Thursday. Um, and we'll be ready. Listen, all we can say, all I can look after is what I'm doing here. Uh, I can't concentrate on other teams. As soon as we keep putting points on the board, it's more beneficial to us as a football club and let them chase us. I'd rather have the points off the board and they've got to win them games in hand. So, listen, fair play to them. If they catch us, they catch us, but I'll make sure my team's ready. That's great. Cheers. Thanks for tonight. Thank no you.